Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about Josh Downs, receiver from University of North Carolina, number 11. And um, before we get started into this film, let's take a look at a few of PFF stats, which, you know, a lot of people go back and forth with, but they do serve a purpose. Like, some of the stuff that I got up there is great information, and, you know, I'm going to use the information that I can get where I can get it. Um, played 589 snaps in the slot, 186 snaps out wide. Uh, he had 116 targets for 94 catches, which is an 81% catch rate. He only had three drops for the 2022 season and a 72.2 catch contested catch percentage. If you look at the chart right up under there, you'll see most of his damage was done between 0 and 10 yards over the middle of the field. 33 for 41, 244 yards, three TDs. Um, most of his TDs came deep down the middle. 7 for 12, 180 yards, three TDs. And you'll see a, a myriad of different catches from Josh and He's the typical slot guy that can bounce outside, do a few things outside, but I think he's a legit slot guy. Let's get into the video to see why I say that. All right, before we get started with Josh Downs, let's um, get the housekeeping out of the way. If this is your first time here, please hit the like button. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing and hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop these random 2023 draft prospect videos. Without further ado, let's get started. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players from Josh Downs over four games. The four games I watched were Clemson, Notre Dame. Let's see who else. Clemson, Notre Dame, Miami, and FAMU. And the Miami game was from 2021 because I couldn't find any 2022 other than the three games I found for this year. So I had to dip back into last year, and y'all know how I hate doing that. But let's get started. Uh, first up versus Miami, you see him highlighted right there in the slot. Just a typical slot guy. On the option route, made the safety fall because him on safeties are mismatches. And he ended up in a touchdown. <laughs> it's that simple. He had one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And I'll show you again. The way they got it lined up, meaning he's one-on-one -on -one with this guy right here. And <laughs> just watch him. He just don't compare. He's going to fake the little out. Start and stop. Uh. Playing his foot in the ground and he just can't react. He's shifting now. Real shifty. That's untouched. Let's go to the next play. Again, versus Miami. Third and five. Stack formation to kind of keep him off those jams. And now he has a little skip, which I love. And, you know, doing that now, he's one on one with the safety again. He can go four different directions. He can run a post. He can run an in route. He can run a corner. He can run a quick out. He's just sizing them up. And it's a little option route. And so it's really whatever him and Drake want to run at this point because the press guy is running with the um out, the top receiver. Runs a little slant. You know, simple. Simple stuff that can work, especially in an RPO game. That'd be a great, you know, use of RPOs because even when they're not stacked like that, he has the knack to get inside the guys and, and still get open. Let's go to the next one. I think this is the last one with Miami, I think. Again, I wish I had put the end zone view on it because what you don't see is when he breaks, and I'm going to pause it right here. When he breaks, he settles right there, but you got you got that guy there, and all he's going to do is work slightly away from him to help the quarterback out. He's going to work slightly away from him, which creates more space to help the quarterback out. And this is the IQ stuff that I kind of keep track of. Because he could have just turned around and the safety would have been right on top of him, but he worked away from the safety and look at the hands. All hands catch. Not even close to the body. Eyes to the ball. Tuck it. You know, no no yak opportunity because the safety was on him. But the fact that he worked away from the safety lets me know he know he understands sitting down in zones and working away from defenders and little things to help the, the quarterback out. Now versus uh fam you. Now this play he didn't catch this ball, but just watch the, the smoothness of this sluggo. Uh uh. 
A lot of people can't run that that smooth. Like people struggle with making those two cuts that quick. Uh, uh, on that third step. A lot of people can't do that. And he did it with ease. With ease. And granted, he don't catch the ball. I just want to show you how smooth he is, you know, on the routes. Because this is one of the harder things to do. Because a lot of people, they'll hit that. That's the easy part. But then hitting this on this third step is the hard part. Some, some people take a fourth and a fifth step to even get out of it. And by then, the DBs recover. Now, had he had a good ball out here somewhere? Had that ball been laid up out here somewhere? He might have caught it. But it's a bad throw by Drake May on this one. And this was Drake May's first start. First ever start. Let's go to the next one. And the empty set. This is a whip route. I think it's a whip. This is what slot receivers do. <laughs> Look at the defender. Look at the defender. Again, good with his footwork. Good with his footwork. Got the man falling over. And again, we get a good throw from Drake May. We get a touchdown. But good job of just, just working. His footwork is, his body control is one thing. His footwork, you know, accentuates his body control. Sets it up with that little, you know, stutter, stutter. Go inside like I'm going to run this route and you're going to jump it. Stick my foot in the ground, get right back out. No wasted steps. No wasted steps. One, two, back out. No wasted steps. Good body control. Next play. Very next play. I think it's very next play. They didn't get him in. And, you know, especially after seeing what um, what KC did in the championship game, you need guys that can do this. And it's just a real route. You need to quick shift the guys and get in and out of breaks and get get open. And that was just basically two picks by the tight end, 88, and uh, the other, I think it's another tight end, 83. They just basically were trying to occupy defenders. That's it. Trying to occupy defenders and get your sure-handed guy behind them and let them get in the end zone. That's simple real route. Simple real brows. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Sky Moore. Uh, who else did that in the championship game? Um, uh, Tony. Kadarius Tony. Got another one versus Carolina. And again, right now he looks just like a, just like a, like he could typically be a slot guy. Like just a slot guy. But look at this. Look at this high point. That's how you go up and get balls right there. At 5'10". That's how you go up and get balls. And, and I thought the back view was going to have the actual catch, but it don't. But this is how you go up and get balls. Middle of the field. High point that thing. Take the lick. Touchdown. Touchdown at 5'10". At 5'10". Now we're going versus Notre Dame. Now this is this is nasty right here. This is nasty. This little wop wop. Ah ah. Gets the defender on the ground again. Now you're gonna get a jump ball. You got a five ten guy getting jump balls. Now watch him go up and get that thing. Find it. Goes way above the defender. Actually goes too high, and catches the ball kind of around his chest. And, you know, once he caught it, he kind of let the defender know that he was too little. Even though Josh is kind of little himself at 5'10". <laughs> Watch him talk to him. <laughs> you too little, son. Ice up. <laughs> Hit him with, with uh, Steve Smith. Let's go on to the next one. In the slot right there, number three receiver. Look at this window. Look at that window. You know, this is NFL stuff right here. You got to be able to catch the ball in small windows. He caught it, L little body to it, but, you know, nothing to really, you know, trip about because he mostly a hands catcher. But look how small his window is. This is a great throw by the quarterback and great concentration by 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 Josh. That's NFL type stuff. That's how the windows are going to be. And you catch the ball and get you another four or five yards. That's a, that's a, that's I don't know if that's a, a great, great throw by May or it's, it's a great play by both of them, honestly. That's a that's a really tight window. He got it in there and got it in there with enough wherewithal where 
Downs could could get some run after the catch. That's because that's a tight, tight window. That's about three yards. It's about three yards. You got it in there with a hand, you know, 24 dive to try to hit it. Got him some, you know, some yak out of it. Not mad at it at all. Let's end on this one right here. I mean, as a number three receiver, it's simple. Another whip. Mm. No wasted steps. Now, it's helped again by the little rub, but even if the rub wasn't there, the defender was already falling. He was already falling. He was already, you know, trying to recover. Got him off balance and worked back out. You need Everybody needs a guy like that. So, put pairing with a, with a, with a team that has an outside receiver, I think you got to steal. And you can sneak him and throw some slight fades and, you know, end up with some jump ball situations where he can go up and get him because I got a feeling whenever they, if he's at the combine, his vertical is going to be ridiculous. Josh Downs' vert is going to be ridiculous. But let's get into the score. All right, let's get into the scores for, for Josh Downs. For hands, I got him at a 77 out of 80. Uh, routes and releases, 76 out of 80. IQ, 77 out of 80. Game speed, 74 out of 80 because at times he kind of, like, I ain't going to say took plays off but didn't really look like he was quick and fast, you know. And I don't think he got that long, long speed, but he definitely can in and out of breaks. He got the quickness. I don't know how, how well his long speed is, but we'll find out soon. And then yak ability, I have him at 70 out of 80 and uh, with a total score of 74.8. That puts Josh right in the middle of, uh, not, well, not right in the middle. That puts him number two. On my board so far, seventy-four point. That puts him on number two on my board, behind Jackson Smith and Jigba. So as of right now, we got Jackson Smith and Jigba number one, Josh Downs number two. Hey, more more receivers coming up soon. Again, if this is your first time here, please do me a favor and hit the like button if you like what you saw. Consider subscribing and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these random videos. Um, there is a draft guide where you can see all the scores from everybody I've done so far with links to all the videos that's in the that's in the description down below. Um, also, if you're a member, please consider moving all that to Patreon. We're going to eventually start moving everything to Patreon. And you know, if you're a Patreon member, you get to watch some of these videos with me as I watch them live. I didn't do the Josh Downs live because I watched most of it at work. But there are other guys and that I will be doing live and you can kind of hear me and my thoughts and you can input your thoughts if you watch it live with me about certain individuals. So that's one of the benefits of being a Patreon. Please consider doing that if you have not. And uh, my guy, I will see you guys soon, man. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And remember, Josh Downs, North Carolina right now is the number two receiver on my board. Peace.